Hello everybody, it's Rob with R3 Shorts. It's been a while, and we're sorry for that. Um, a lot has happened in the last six months, both for us and for the rest of the world. Uh, we've got that wonderful unknown illness from unknown origin that's been torturing everybody. And so because of that, uh, we've had a lot of stuff going on in our personal lives, and we've just been trying to sort things out. So I know that the Animorphs Book 5 audiobook was supposed to release uh, by the end of the summer. So again, we apologize for that. I want to assure you we are working on that like right now, we're still doing it and, and getting it to be the best quality that we have yet to produce for one of those audiobooks. Uh, I, I'm very much of a perfectionist in these audiobooks by now because I, I really pride myself in this work, especially the response that it's gotten from all of you. The first thing I want to talk about is uh, the job situation because that was our main focus around the time when we were doing book four in the spring. In the spring, I, I was unemployed still, still looking for work. I was able to get a job about the middle of the year for a very famous retailer, whom you all know. And I was doing manual labor with them, and I got promoted recently, an amazing promotion into doing IT, which is something that I've always kind of been interested in. If you look back through these update videos, it just looks so chaotic and schizophrenic. It's like, oh, he's doing voice acting. Oh, he's doing retail. Oh, he's doing a performance of Young Frankenstein at his local theater. Oh, he's doing that. Yes, it's been all over the place. <laughs> but I was able to get this job and get promoted to IT, which is something that I've always been interested in from a distance. Uh, I've been working in the video game industry for several years down in Los Angeles. Then I was working in different elements of coding and software. That was basically the education that I was getting last fall. I said in a previous update video that we were out of the state for a while. That was why I was learning JavaScript, HTML, CSS, all that good stuff for web development. And it finally came to fruition. Uh, web development is a different side of the coin from actual hardware IT, but at this company, they've merged all my skills together. So I'm doing a little bit of both and it is fantastic. So I, I want to say that the priority for our family right now is to focus on this career blossoming and doing whatever I need to do, which in my case is to pursue knowledge to eventually get a CCNA certification. You can look that up if you want to. And on the coding side of things, learn more about HTML, JavaScript, and just make myself more valuable there. So in addition to that, we're doing a project in our backyard that is phenomenal. And we started doing that at the end of May. Uh, we just started digging a 14 foot diameter hole in our backyard to sink our trampoline into. So, we didn't want to mess with any of those nets that a lot of families have around their trampoline. And we've got our two little children who are about three and a half and one and a half right about now. And we wanted them to be able to bounce on the trampoline. And we wanted to practice doing backflips on the trampoline, maybe jumping from the grass into it. Long story short, I've been digging this thing in very rocky terrain, very heavy rocks. We've built up a huge pile of rocks and uh, it has actually helped me lose a lot of weight. You might have noticed at the beginning of this video and if not, shame on you. It's been about 50 pounds. Yes, I said 50. So 50 pounds worth of just digging and eating less carbs and that's it. Success story right here. All that is to say that we have real life projects that are going on, real life careers, real life current events that are taking place for our local society, our country, our family, our home. And they take precedence over the R3 Shorts channel, which we are still doing as a hobby. So now we're getting into the book five. As I said, I'm working diligently on that for all the audio. Ruth is still getting her inspiration for all the animations and things based on what I described to her. Because remember, I read the book series in the 90s. She's never read it and she's still not reading it. When she experiences the story, it's through hearing my audio. And so she has to animate based on what I described to her is the main scene from the inside of the cover of the book. Oh sure, she can look at it, but she asks me different things that happen in the book that she can throw into the animation just for fun. 
Now, moving on from book five, we got another project that we're going to be working on uh, that won't take anywhere near as long to crank out. So that'll be coming out a little bit before book five. And I was bitten by the theater bug, so to speak. Uh, all that singing that I was doing and performing in Young Frankenstein on stage last year, it really kind of stuck with me. And I just realized I liked the singing. It was fun. And so... I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. We've never done it before, but it's kind of along the vein of all those other YouTubers that do acapella covers of famous songs. We're going to do an acapella cover, or I should say I'm going to do an acapella cover, but it's not going to be a famous song. In fact, 75% of you probably will never have heard it before. And so I dare anybody to guess even the genre that this is going to be from. So that is going to come out before book five. I just want to get that clear first so you don't feel cheated when you see it before Marco. So we're also going to release a trailer for book five and that new trailer video is going to have the concrete date for book five. Don't know when it's going to be. I'm not going to promise when it's going to be, but I'm working hard. Ruth is working hard. We're also watching the children and I'm going to work 40 hours a week at least. So we're busy and we're just trying to get this done for you guys, for our friends, for our families, but more importantly for ourselves because we do love doing it. It's not a chore. So until later, this is Rob signing off. Seriously, guys, if you think that I'm going to put up with Rachel's constant insults towards me and Cassie's pathetic innocence and Jake's really annoying level of maturity and Tobias's mystic stoicism and not say anything to random strangers about it? You're sadly mistaken. I can't hold it in much longer. And now we've added a blue reindeer to the group who really lacks social skills. Like, severely. Okay? I might have come up with the nickname, but I haven't fully warmed up to him yet. So, yeah, we got a lot to talk about.